<laughs> Brian. Gladiator 2, Brian. People, I, I keep hearing good things. Yeah. And Brian, not just good things, Brian. The fact that Denzel, regardless of what you think of Denzel Washington and him performing, it is still a performance that you have to see because it all depends on the words that you give him and how he expresses it, Brian. And that's what you're going to go see in Gladiator in a different time, Brian. That's what I think more people are sort of. Are we going to see Denzel Washington in 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 ancient times? Are we going to see? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Con Consul Alonzo but, Harris. But, yes. But how he goes about it, Brian, I think will be how, the nuances of it, Brian, will 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 sway us into being like, yeah, he hasn't lost it. Brian, you want the oh, quote? The, yes. So they, they did their first screening. Paramount is fired up about this movie. And they better be because apparently it cost close to $400 million. <laughs> <laughs> the motivation. Yeah. But I guess if you, I guess if you <laughs> really flood a replica Roman Coliseum and put alligators in it, maybe that does cost you some money. I don't know. Um, Okay, so this is the reactions part. We know reactions are always up here and results are always a bit below. Yeah. That's almost always the case. But the consensus is that it is a best picture contender and that Denzel Washington, quote from Dark Horizons, a shoo-in for the supporting actor. A shoo-in supporting actor Oscar. No one else need apply. Wow. So some of the wow. quotes. Some of the quotes from the reactions that went public. Ridley Scott's best directorial effort since Black Tie Hawk Down. This is Denzel Washington having the time of his life in one of his most killer roles yet, and a third Oscar could very well come his way. Separate quote, Gladiator 2, a true epic, Ridley Scott's best in years. Paul Meskel, great action star, without sacrificing his indie grit, worthy heir to the throne. Denzel Washington eats every line and costume without ever overplaying, end quote. Um, next quote. From actually a high-profile critic, Denzel Washington chews up the scenery quite a bit here and looks like he's having the time of his life. Next quote, Denzel stealing the movie and soon to be one of his most iconic performances, end quote. I don't see that from the trailer. I love Denzel. I will watch almost anything he's in, and I will be Absolutely. like, he's never bad. But Except for Fences. I didn't watch Fences. <laughs> Too much complaining. <laughs> <laughs> but, Den but Denzel in epic, Denzel in biopic, Denzel in drama, Denzel in action, oh, yes. to me, like, is as reliable. Like, I'll watch oh, yeah, 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 movies yeah. all day. I'll watch oh, yeah, 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 yeah. all day. I'll watch yeah, Unstoppable yeah. all day. These movies are just great to have on a plane, have on a des desert island. And obviously, then you have the Malcolm X, you have the glory, you have the stuff that, you know, Training Day, the stuff that kind of made him an icon. But, Hurricane, yeah. Uh, which, yeah, you love, you love more than I do. But I think the... The, what they've shown in the trailer to me just doesn't fit this level of adoration. I'm not saying he's bad. It just seems like it is kind of, yeah, it is kind of training day ancient Rome. Like it just seems like he's riffing on characters we've already seen him do as opposed to breaking new ground in this new era that he's in. Yeah. And he's given his rationale. He said publicly, I don't think I could do the Numidian accent competently. So I just did New York because that's more me. He said it, and great. Who's going to tell him no? Ridley, Ridley Scott included is not going to tell yeah, Denzel. Yeah, yeah, that's the run, that's the risk you take when you're getting these these, these you you gonna get their their interpretation right, pretty much, right. And if you don't want him to have an accent, Joaquin Phoenix, he doesn't get an accent. You know what I'm saying? But you get what you get, and it probably worked out for Denzel more than it gonna work out for it worked out for Joaquin Phoenix. So, I mean, if he's having fun and he's invested, like again, you, you're not gonna take your eyes off him because he's Denzel Washington. He's one of the five yeah, 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 of our yeah, lifetime. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. this idea that I don't know these quotes make it seem like he's you know reinventing the space. Like I just the trailer's not giving me that. Nah. It's, it's more it's giving me the, he's playing the hits. 
Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. He's playing the hits and he's gonna be just a performance. It's a performance. Then he'll perform, yo. You give him you give him three words, he's gonna perform those three words and he's gonna make it sound great. And he's that's a what really interesting for. interview. If you've, if, you've, if you've, he doesn't give a ton of them, but if you ever listen to him talk about his resume, mm -hmm. he's as no BS. A pr he comes across oh, as, yeah. as no BS practical actor as I've ever heard. He literally is just like, whatever I did before is what I did. I don't think about it. Like it, it's a job. I live in it. I, I get paid and I move on. And then yeah, I do the yeah, next yeah. one. Like. He is like that athlete of like one game at a time, one game at a time. Like that's how he portrays it. And I don't know if that's true, like if that's truly how he lives it, but he really doesn't ever give you this sort of dramatic story of how he finds characters. To him, it's literally just like, it's a job. I'm interested. And in this case, really Scott is someone he knows, he's worked with, he's comfortable with. And he's like, I'm good. Give me the script. I'll be ready to roll. It's like, it's like ultimate professional, but not extra. That's how it comes across. He's going to work because he used, yeah. to, be, he's, he used to um uh, pick up garbage and he and it was just going and go do the job. And that's it. And I, and I think that's a cool approach to have when you're doing this sort of work. Um and he's been doing it forever and and let's see how let's see what I, I would like to see him in like in a romantic comedy, bro. Something different, Brian. Something just totally different. I would like to see that. But yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the praise that Gladiator 2 is getting, Brian. It's, it's, it's crazy. And that Denzel stealing the show, I wouldn't, I think, Brian, that he, here's the thing. He's the lead for a reason, usually. And if you put him in a supporting role, it's hard for him not to steal the scene because he's a lead in a lot of movies, Brian, for a reason, Brian. When was, the last the time, when was the last time he was truly in a supporting role? I, I was thinking about that the other day. It's a been a long time. Since he re like, since he really said, "I I will be the defined number two or number three on this ticket, and I will help get Paul Mescal over." Like, has it been since Glory? When was the last time he he got game? He's still kind of the star of that. I mean, Ray Allen's the supporting character to his character. Yeah. So when is the last time? I mean, because even in the movies where he's co, he's very co. Right, like Unstoppable, it's him and Chris Pine, but he kind of is one, the Pines 1A. In um, yeah. Taking a Pelham 1, 2, 3, it's him and Travolta, but it's so he's, he's not him. below. He's never he's never in a movie that you don't you don't put his face on it and everybody think that's his movie. Yeah, like even like Philadelphia, it's him and Hanks. Like they're co. Like Yeah, well I, I, American Gangster, I'm, him and Russell Crowe. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know I mean? yeah. Like, has it been since Glory that he was legitimately like second or like third on the ticket? And I, I was literally trying to think of like when was the last time he did this? Cause you almost get a sense of this movie feeling like oh, people just looking at this movie like it's a Denzel movie, right? I think they're promoting it like that because he, of his name, right? Paul Maskell doesn't yet have the global Certainly. name. And, Certainly. and Gladiator but I would think Pedro Pascal Crow. would. Yes, but I think global, I, I mean, Washington of the cast is the icon. And I think the, the difference between Gladiator right? 1, Russell Crowe was already a mega star, so they could build it around him. Joaquin was the, the like, up-and-comer in that movie. Certainly, but after it was only after LA Confidential. I mean, he was having a run up in terms of. I mean, yeah, certainly he had a name. He said he did. He well, did LA Confidential, the insider. I think he already had the. But like with Denzel the Bryan, even if he's like third bill, you put his face on it. It's already the association of him being because we're used to seeing him in as lead. You you don't put Denzel in a movie and he's third or fourth. You don't put him if he shows up. 
if there's a trailer for a movie and he shows up, everybody's gonna be like surprised. Oh, snap, Denzel, right? Obviously, yeah. right? But you go see it because of him. And I and I guess that's the reason why we're getting so much of him and so much talk of him. And not so much of the others, even though I'm sure their performances are gonna be fantastic. And we've heard good things about their performances as well, but Denzel is the ticket. I would just suspect that his like if you looked at his percentage of screen time in the trailer versus his percentage of screen time in the movie, I bet you the less. percentage of the trailer is higher than the percentage in the movie. He's yes, in the movie yes, less than yes, the trailer yeah, would yeah, let yes, yes. lead you to believe. And Meskel's in it a lot more. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. That's why and he steals the show probably, when he does show Pascal up. Pascal is probably in it more than the trailer would lead you to believe. Yeah, that's why he showed, that's why, yeah, yeah, yeah. But let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the talk of the town. Denzel Washington, Gladiator 2, uh, and the talk that he's um, the highlights. And not to say, Brian, they've also said that this movie doesn't really live up to the first one, but I'm not, I'm not looking at it like that, Brian, because how could you? No, it's more of the same go world. In this, yeah. Yeah, I have more of a concern. And if you've watched our shows before, you can hear our concerns about this movie and where it's going. But we still hear the contrary. But consider the, the second source, trailer right? was much better than the first. They clearly heard the they heard the complaints about the soundtrack. There you go. The complaints of about how unfocused it was. So if nothing else, the promotion has tightened up. Yes, uh, yes and the yes, second yes, trailer yes. was better. I think it's funny. Yeah. Really, Scott was saying he's already writing Gladiator Three. I'm like, oh, we're excited doing about that. It. <laughs> I'm like, we're doing that. Let's see, let's see what the box office says about that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. 